Hello everybody! Tonight, this video is going to be part one of a multi-part series in which I show you all of the artwork that I have done from 2022 until now, showing you how I progressed over the years. Please enjoy! First on our list is Larry, or as the creator of this character now calls him, Lenny. And, yeah, I didn't create this character. It's, it's my friend's character. And so this part and part two will be dedicated to the comic series that me and MojoCat64 will be making, sub to his YouTube channel. And I'll try and put the channel link in the description so you can go check him out yourself. But for now, let's f just focus on the characters. So Larry, Lenny, whatever you want to call him, he, he gets better as the series goes. Trust me. You have Jesse. Comment down, I'll give you a few seconds to guess, and comment down below if, what ki kind of character do you think he is. If any of you guessed correctly, I'll, in, in the comments, your, your comment will get hearted. And I'm not saying that to make you comment. I'm, I'm actually wanting to congratulate you for actually managing to get it right, even though it must be pretty easy to get this right, seeing as, like, all the typical stuff going on here. But... Okay, anyway, moving on. Moving on, we've got Carpy. He is sort of a very weird case, because it all started off when we, me and Mojo had 64, were making characters for originally a video game that we were planning to make, but we dropped that in favor of a graphic novel. So it was originally going to be like Steve from Minecraft, but bald. And then I started drawing him with a regular body, and but kept the square head. And that's how Carpy was born. And for some reason... Like, the neck on him in this one is still square. But in future, like, in future iterations, his neck becomes round. Next, we have Toby. And I'll be perfectly honest, I'm still, I still despise this, like, well, I don't despise it. I mean, I, I still dislike how he used to look. I mean, his hair kind of looks like it's been painted on, and also, I don't think the creeper face would fly with, with, cop, with Mojang. And also, dear fucking god, why did I used to draw hands like this? And, but, Toby was one of my favorites, to do but who comes next is one of my is my number one favorite to draw oscar and he was sort of based on me like the long hair and not the skinny part for them mostly but the long hair and also <laughs> like the mix of casual clothes and a top hat is just... There's something so appealing about that. <laughs> or just... It's just so unusual and, like, eye-catching. And... 
I still can't get over these hands. And <sighs> next we have Jackson. And and his copper golem Calvin. And I'm I don't really know much about Jackson because I haven't talked to Mojo Cat 64 in a while, like face to face, so and apart from this, I've only drawn him once. Well, I mean, well, I mean, apart from a WIP drawing that you'll see in part two, or maybe part three, if the stack becomes too much. But in either part two or part three, you'll see a WIP drawing of Jackson, and that's the only other time I've drawn him. And... Yeah, I don't know much about him. And next is Tirisk. She is... The, the, she's the... It's kind of self-explanatory. But... Like I said, I wasn't the best at drawing humans back in 2022. It's because I was just starting drawing human characters after, like... Many, many years of only drawing railroad stuff. But, seriously, he's rocking them Nikes. <laughs> and I know, what, like, I rarely saw Nikes back then, so I had no fucking clue what they looked like. And delving more into original characters that were mostly made by myself... We have Aurora, and yes, I spelled the name wrong. Bite me. I was just a stupid kid back then. But, yeah. The story behind her is that she was, like, a lab experiment went wrong. They, like, took a, like, a, a wild deer, tried to make her anthropomorphic, but the hooves and wouldn't turn into hands and feet. So, they amputated and gave her cybernetic hands and feet. So, yeah, not much else to say about her. Now, for Edmund. He was mostly based on how I looked at the time. Well, minus the glasses, of course. But mostly, he was based off of me. Because, like, and... I know the years are lopsided, but I think that sort of gives him character. And, yeah, there's not much else. And then we have Larry's, Larry and Oscar's revamps. So Larry and Oscar both gained black trim on their shirts, as you can see here. And Larry gained a little black mole under his left eye and his legs got a little shorter and Oscar got a little taller and his hair got slightly longer and he also gained a sort of nose sort of and also his shoes changed color yet another Oscar and Larry thing so the only difference is that their pants and Oscar's shirt have slightly paled. And we have Jesse's second incarnation, or revamp, as you as some people might say. This was in the sort of dark age of my art style where I drew faces very, very skinny and the neck's a little too long but now he's transformed from a now he's transformed from this like a human boy with like, a cybernetic limb to a full-on cyborg with like a you know like a robot with human organs and I took inspiration for the face plates unfolding from like, like the face plates opening from, well, like 
like the sister location robots. And so I took inspiration for Five Nights at Freddy's and Star Wars, like the Revenge of the Sith, one like General Grievous from Star Wars. Like with the robot with living organs inside. And then here's Larry and Oscar again. His eyebrows have changed to brown and his hair has grown quite long. Like much longer than his previous revamp. And also his legs have gotten longer and skinnier and Larry's gotten a tiny bit shorter. And also his arms got thinner. And then we have revamped Toby. And it's not looking too bad. His, I mean, this hair definitely suits him better than that super short, like, snug to the head flat stuff. Although I still drew him with the creeper face at that time. And you have Tiris revamp. And now instead of like normal eyes, she now has like eyes that are closer to Sans's eyes from Undertale. And she also has a smaller nose and different slightly different clothes, which you'll see in the next few drawings. And purple tipped ears and bangs and also instead of asymmetrical colors coloring on the parts that go in front of, the hair bits that go in front of her shoulders she now has symmetrical ones as and you'll see them better in future like you'll see them better in like the next couple oh and also her antlers were simplified Here we go. See? Symmetrical colors. Two on each side. And, then, and yeah, it's kind of ob kind of obvious when I drew this. It was around like I think it was like Christmas twenty twenty two. Yeah, that was it. And Carpy now has a beard. And that actually started off as a kind of error like I was like I, I first do a pencil outline then I ink over the pencil and then I erase the pencil lines so I was inking on his chin when the ink smudged and I was about to throw it away but then I thought it didn't look too bad so I turned it into a beard and kept it that way and Oscar's eyes have changed shape to be more similar to an anime style. And let's see now. Where is the next one? Oh. So if you don't want to have this next, if you don't want to have the finale of the series spoiled for you, skip to maybe the 15 minute mark in the video. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to skip. For, for those of you who haven't skipped, prepare to have the finale spoiled. Bam. Yep, this happens. Although, I gotta admit, Oscar looks pretty good with a ponytail. Not gonna lie. Carvey still has his beard. Hmm. Jesse over there. And yeah, I chose blue for the wedding clothes because I really just think that black would have used up too much ink. And also because, I mean, honestly, black clothes at a wedding look pretty dull, if I'm being honest. So, like, blue and gray are much better. In my opinion, that is. So, yeah. Okay, for those of you who have skipped, 
and you are listening to this right now, good for you. The next drawing that we have is of Oscar again, and his hair's really gotten out of control this time. It's down past his waist now. And, yeah, not gonna lie, he does look kind of good with it. And he's now he's got, like, a full... Like almost a full beard. Like it doesn't really cover all of his all of his lower face, but you can still see it's there. It's kind of like what I have now. I mean, like you, if you look hard enough, you can see it. Anyway, back back to him. His pants are still more pale than his first incarnation, and so is his shirt. And so in this one, they've been out drinking and yeah, I was trying to see like how I was trying to see what I could do with facial expressions without making them too sus or too weird. And there's just this random dude in the background. He's just like, what the fuck? And... And right here is Jesse's final incarnation. Well, not the final, but the most recent. He's still a cy he's still a cyborg, but he just now has cleaner lines and his hair looks more real. So the last one for this video is Monica. She is half elf, half human, and and all positivity. Well, mostly all positivity. But, yeah, I just drew this one day in the middle of, like, I think it was woodworking. No, not woodworking. Blech. It was like, during the middle of felting class. And, yeah, I just had ran out of, I, I had run out of ideas on what to draw. And so I just decided on another female character for my series, well, for the series, because, like, I just thought I've been adding too many male characters lately. And Mojo Cat to Mojo Cat 64, if you like this character, just like feel free to express your opinion on her. And that will do it for part 1 of this video series. Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you want to. And if you want to, drop a question or a, or a statement in the comments. Thank you.